fire! Help! Whoever you are, please help us save the Abbey! I don't understand how this could be happening. We have no feud with the Midnight Union. Why would they suddenly come here and destroy the Abbey? It doesn't make any sense. Certainly! The bandits set everything on fire. The whole place is going up in smoke, and they're preventing us from putting the fires out. We weren't prepared to fight. If you'll help extinguish the flames, it would be a tremendous favor. Take this bucket, if you can get to the well and fill it. I don't know any other way. The larger fire may not be so easy. Just focus on the smaller fires first. I appreciate your assistance, but I would not want you to think of the spirit wardens as helpless. We are a capable lot. But to be attacked out of nowhere like this, and by the Midnight Union, we were just caught off guard. Smugglers mostly, and gamblers, even petty thieves. But they've never been ruffians before now. They almost killed Brother Roland. I thought I knew them. Why attack the Abbey? Why? The Midnight Union. <laughs> and Sister Sophia said we could trust them. These are dark times, my friend. I only pray that Azura can speed the dawn of brighter days to come. Azura, take them! I planted that cornfield myself. I can see that many of the small fires have been extinguished. Thank you for volunteering to help us. Thanks for pitching in. I think we've saved enough crops to make it through the winter. But why did this happen? What's it all about? I hesitate to ask you for further assistance, but if you're willing, your help would certainly be appreciated. Our leader, Abbot Durak, left some time ago and hasn't returned. I fear he may be injured, or worse. Abbot Durak and a few others went to the Cave of Dreams on the North Ridge. Durak wanted to get something to help put out the fires. Brother Hakam went after them with a scroll of return to help get them back sooner. Now I worry about Hakam too. Both. But look for Brother Hakam first. With the scroll of return, you can get Abbot Durak back here sooner, where I hope he'll be able to put out that big fire.
Friend or foe, declare yourself. No one will harm the abbot. Not while I draw breath. And I have more terrible news. Those damned outlaws cast a sleeping spell on Abbot Durok. I can't wake him. He came down here for this scroll of summoning, said it would stop the biggest fire. I just hope it's worth what it cost. As Jura prays his foresight, this will get us back to the Abbey. Jurok said this scroll of summoning should be read near the largest fire in the field. Please, take it and use it there. I'll meet you at the Abbey when you're done. Atronach. Simply amazing. Jurok, you were right, my friend. You were right. He's still under a sleep spell. But I've learned something. The Midnight Union wanted us to panic. The attack, the fires, they were just a diversion. While we were distracted, they entered the Abbey and stole the Dream Shard. You must awaken Abbot Jurok. He'll know how to get the Dream Shard back. Talk to our healer, Frizzweir. He's inside, tending to the abbot. We can't create more dreamless potions without the dream shard. Without those potions, we, and the king, are vulnerable to the supernal dreamers. The dream shard is a priceless relic, a literal piece of Azura's realm of moon shadow. With it, we can distill water from the cave of dreams into dreamless potions. Without that shard, we can't make any more of them. We use them to protect ourselves from nightmare attacks by our enemies, the Supernal Dreamers. Since we don't dream, we're not vulnerable to dream magic. We also send them to the King and his counselors. Another reason we're tolerated here. Exactly. So you see how important it is to recover the Dream Shard. The safety of the realm is at stake. I guess I'll be replanting half the field, but thanks for saving what you did. You put out the fire. Maybe this situation is about to start turning around. The Midnight Unions retreated, and I never got a chance to clout one of them. You're the darling who saved Rose and Vaughn, aren't you? Quite the hero! Listen to me! Say, I heard you recently arrived from Alcare. There are terrible rumors about Duchess Lacana. Are they true? Was she murdered? I am sorry to hear about the Duchess. She was a good woman. The omen of fear, you say? I recollect hearing something about such Daedra before. You should ask Abbot Durak. He would know. This sister has suffered a concussion, and the brother behind me has internal injuries. It's an outrage. The Union must be stopped. You're the one who helped save our fields. Listen, I may have discovered the source of Durok's affliction. It won't be easy. 
The spell enthralling the abbot traps him in sleep and forces him to dream. It's a clever spell, since the spirit wardens can't enter his dream. In fact, we can't dream at all. We drink dreamless potions nightly. That's why we're immune to dream attacks from our enemies, the supernal dreamers. As of now, you're the only person in Pariah Abbey who can dream. The only one who can save Durok. We have another potion we rarely use, a dream stride potion. It'll put you into a dreaming sleep. Then I can merge your mind with Abbot Durok's. You must find him in his dream, figure out what holds him there, and awaken him. serve two very different mistresses. Our dream is your nightmare. Welcome to the new world, Abbot. You're no dream spirit. You're real. Can you help me? Our allies have betrayed us. The Midnight Union are now enemies. And I failed to see it coming. I can't, my child. These chains bind me to my nightmare. However, it's still my dream. So I know one of the Midnight Union men outside carries the key to my chains. Slay them until you find it. Don't hesitate or fear. They're only dream spirits. In this dream state, only you and I are real. And I'm only really certain of myself. I've removed these chains. We'll awaken. Speak with me again in the waking world. Without you, I'd still be trapped in that dream. Now we must work together to stop this threat to Stormhaven. You saw my dream. Clearly, Vermina's cult, the Supernal Dreamers, is behind this betrayal by the Midnight Union. The outlaws of the Union took the Dream Shard, but I fear it's for Vermina's evil purposes. We must recover it. I don't look forward to informing the King about this, but we must let him know as soon as possible. He will not be pleased. King Emmerich must be informed that without the Dream Shard, we won't be able to supply him the dreamless potions that protect him from the Supernal Dreamers. His Majesty might reward the one who brings him word of this. Would you do it? Seek out the King in Wayrest and give him the news. He must know as soon as possible. Then you need to find the Midnight Union. True, but not yet. The entire purpose of the attack on the Abbey was to acquire the Dream Shard, and its purpose is as a defense against the Supernal Dreamers. I do, which means those cultists are planning something, something big. King Emmerich must be warned. That is the highest priority. Hmm. 
I imagine Abbot Duroc has a plan to recover the Dream Shard. And I'll wager you're involved. Seek out the King in Wayrest and give him the news. He must know as soon as possible. Mine was a nightmare of betrayal, and they are among my betrayers. Count Hosni was betrothed to our sister Sophia before he met Lady Adima. And there is another reason. It's an open secret that Count Hosni commands the Midnight Union. We thought him our friend. Hail. Well, you got the job done. Though you were gentler than I would have been. I'll never trust the Midnight Union again, I can tell you that. You woke Durok! Incredible! I have no doubt Azura herself sent you. You will find the Dream Shard, my friend. You will save us.